what I guess made you want to come across to link up with Brahms? Um, well, they're a very successful franchise, obviously. Um, they've made finals a lot, and um, probably having Dan and uh, Laurie Fisher here probably helped me um, grow my game to the next level. So that was one of the, and obviously my brother being here was, um, yeah, ticked another box. So. Yeah, is that exciting to have a chance to kind of potentially line up alongside him? Um, yeah, I played when we were a lot, lot younger, a um, bit of club rugby together, but since then, you know, nothing like super rugby. So. I mean, we never know what the future holds, so hopefully next year we'll be able to run on the park together. We kind of know a bit about Rory's story to where he kind of came from. Tell us a bit about how you kind of got to where you are. Um, yeah, well, Rory obviously got his first contract a lot, probably a few years before me. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to get the opportunity at the Western Force. And um, they brought me over there for two years and a few injuries in the first year. Um, got a few games last year. Um, but. Yeah, I'm very thankful for the Western Force, what they've done with me and my rugby. So, yeah, um, appreciate, it. appreciate that club there. Dan was mentioning they're sort of looking for something similar to what you know, Rory brings to the team, but something a bit different as well. How do you see your style different to Rory? Um, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty hard. I think we're sort of similar players, but do, like, have probably different, um, different around the park in ways. But uh, yeah, I think we're, we are similar players, but in saying that, we have, all, we have our different you know, contributions to the team. And yeah, so it's a hard one. <laughs> all right. When um, Rory broke onto the scene, like I think you were still off a little bit, but did that kind of spark the rugby interest for you as well? Um, probably to see him climb the ranks so quick, probably like fueled the fire a bit and made me more hungry for it. Um, so yeah, that definitely did, yeah. Well, like I know we were joking before about a few people mistaken you but do you guys get mistaken for each other a lot or oh well, a lot of people think I'm Rory when I'm we're in Fiji this year and I see and a few people were like oh Rory can I get a photo so sometimes I go along with it and just like oh I'll just ride along with it and um, sometimes I don't but yeah <laughs> has there always been a big uh, sibling rivalry between the two of you did you used to belt each other at home um yeah yeah good uh, few um few uh backyard games of footy there when we were younger and yeah we've had a Probably competitive when we're younger, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes this year. Have you ever played against each other though, Super Rugby or NRC? No, I played. I get played against him uh, NRC. Yeah. I played one game against him, um, and I was playing for Queensland Country, I think. Um, yeah, so he got the better of me there, but I mean, yeah, I was pretty unfit and and that back then, but yeah. How, how um, is it like? Because I guess you come into a club where he's established that that sort of thing, and people automatically because your identical twin is going to go, oh, you're just going to be the same as Rory. How hard is it to kind of break from that and try and become your own player? Sort of? Yeah, well, that's a good question. I think, um, yeah, obviously I'm my own person and um, we're all we're dif different, different around the park. So I'll be, I'll be looking to, you know, um, you know, make a name for myself and, you know, get out from underneath his shadow, sort of, to speak. So. How, how tough has the past sort of six months been for you, not knowing where you were with the force and all that sort of stuff? Um, yeah, it's... It has been quite hard. I mean, once we found out, it made it like weight lifted off the shoulder a bit. Then we could start to focus on all right. And now the, the team's gone, so we can, you know, sit down and see where I want to go. But I mean, yeah, it was. I mean, it was a tough time in my life, but I'm very grateful for the Western Force. And you know, one door closes, another one opens. So I'm um, relishing the opportunity at, at the Brumbies in Canberra. So has Rory rolled out a swag on the floor for you? Or? No, 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 no. Me and, my, me and my partner are staying out at Gungal in there, at an apartment there for now, and looking for a place to stay in the, in the city somewhere. So. so you've gone North Coast, Queensland, Western Australia, now in Canberra. Yeah. Are you ready for Canberra Stadium when it's two degrees and raining? <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. Um, yeah, he says it gets cold down here, so um, yeah, different climate to Perth, but yeah.